Hello. Happy Switch Up Saturday. It has been a short week. Well, sort of. I hope you enjoyed your holiday if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., it's a short week to us because Memorial Day, we typically, a lot of us, get the Monday off. So it just screws us up. <laughs> so it feels like a short week because we don't work as much, quote unquote, work as much. But I, I feel like everything gets thrown off. So it's like you, your Monday is your Tuesday and it, it just throws you off for the, the whole week. And it just, everything feels like you've lost a day. It's like daylight savings time, if you know what that is, for a whole week. <laughs> it's just like, it just throws you completely off. So, anywho, it's, it's just been one of those weeks that I, I just feel like I was constantly trying to catch up. And now it's, you know, just time to start anew, start fresh. But the good thing about Memorial Day also is technically it's the unofficial start of summer. So I'm in white. Do I ever wear white? Do you ever see me in white? No. But that also inspired me to, we're going to venture up into, I guess the attic. No, we're going to venture up. There's an upper level to my storage up there um, on that side of my bags that, um, I keep and there's a section that I probably have not touched. Those bags have been up there since I made the the bag wall and even before that I there's a section of these bags that I know I have not used since before I bought this house. So that would be late 2020 and I had them packed up for several months as we were selling the other house. So likely they have not seen the light of day since 2019. <laughs> so that's a while, almost five years and maybe even longer. So we are going to delve into at least this week, one of those bags that has not seen the light of day for almost five years. And maybe that will be the subject of the next few weeks is using those bags and deciding if they still have a place in this world. So that's what we're going to do. Today, we're going to swap out of our bag, which, you know, last week I didn't swap out. Um, but I'm going to go into what happened. And um, we'll change our nails, talk about our fragrance. I was so good this week with the fragrances. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Just pat myself on the back. Um, this was the nail polish that I had worn. It fell off after like two days um, quite quickly. So I have to find another one. Um, I'm having some issues. They're, they've been breaking um, all week. So I think I'm going to do a one coater or something that um, is low maintenance, let them heal a little bit, work on some type of nurturing. I have this Dior Dealy Bob that I'm thinking about using. And then um, this also from Dior for cuticles that um, I've been lax haven't used any of it thinking maybe if I do some treatments maybe that will help bring them back into shape so um something that I can use in conjunction with these items is my plan for this week so um let's get over there get the swap outs happening and I'll insert whatever else goes on for the day sometime today I have an appointment to go my, get myself back into the uh, not that and um yeah so we'll see you in a bit so I just wanted to share this really luscious hydrangea they had over at Costco it's not quite indicative of what all they had there, but um, it's supposed to be for Memorial Day in a red, white, and blue concept, but they're turning more purple. There's white back there and the pink for the red, so a little bit of 
dead ones, but it was like 15 bucks for this giant, giant, I mean, there's like a bench that we have out front. So <laughs> it's not, it's not tiny. I think it's three plants worth in there. And I just think it's really cute. We still have our ice out, <laughs> our smell, ice melt. Yes. You like your new rug, girls? Is I'm it cozy? Yeah. You can squish your booty down there. Really enjoy it. it. What do you think, Pickles? Costco's the best, Dean huh? Books. All the all the good deals. <laughs> So, like I said, I was a good girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did really well this week. I used everything at least once. I know I wore bad boys twice. Um, I know I did use everything else at least once. And I believe I mixed these two one day just to try it out and only wore you once I remember that this one didn't have very much staying power so I believe I followed up with this one so a lot of use out of vanilla 28 and that's really darkening up quite a bit but I just love this perfume so um or is it cologne is it perfume what's it say i can't tell parfum eau de parfum um yeah just really enjoyed this selection so i think i'm thinking it's summer we're gonna go get some summery scents i'll be right back Okay, real quick, I want to talk about um, these fragrances. So I have these Atomizer House of Siage um, fragrances. So Cherry Garden, Tiara, and Passion de l'Amour. Um, so they're basically just travel versions of their signature scents. So I have the blue one. I have Tiara in red, um, Passion of the Moor and Tiara. I, they're very rich, musky kind of scents to me. So, um, not going to go here right now, but I, they're always up here. So I kind of forget about them. So I need to pull them out. And the only one that really, um, is reminiscent of, this time of year to me um you know late spring summer is cherry garden so i'll insert the notes but that is what i'm going to pull out and oh they all have um like coordinating jewels on them not to be confused with that one over there which is um a whispers line over here so i'm gonna pull out cherry garden and then this is going to be this week's tray. So we're going to do Mickey Mouse, Vanilla Vibes, Skylar's Vanilla Sky, very sweet, very coconutty. And then this, the bane of my existence. I wanted this to be so much, and I'm going to give it another shot. It was migraine-inducing chaos last year, but we're going we're gonna to try it again, and hopefully I get a different reaction to it. But this was very disappointing last year when I bought it. Um, I bought it the same time I bought Vanilla Vibes, and I had hoped it would be beachy, salty, and it, it it's not, so... We'll try it again. We'll see what happens and we'll see how this week's goes. I have a feeling I'm going to just walk right past this and just be over, be here, be here the whole time. So we'll see. We'll see. But that's the tray of the week. Okay. So as mentioned, we had existential crisis. Didn't work out so well. So I think we're just going to go with one of these basic ones and let's see 
see. Let's do that one. Something really simple. Cosmic Unicorn Skin. So it's one of those um, large flake gel ones. So that will be my basic nails of the week. We're going to talk about the purses. So I think I've talked about my storage area up there. I have all of that way up there, all that shelving that, um, this area right there, that's what I'm talking about. That has not been touched in years. That blue bag is actually the latest Dooney that I acquired, but pretty much everything from the left of that Dooney has not been carried in years. Um, I think I've carried everything to the right or there have been new acquisitions. It's LV and other new products. Um, but yeah, there's just that. And I have a feeling that there's several bags in that box. Those are Michael Kors bags. And I think there's two of them in that one box there. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna pull those down and figure out what's going on. Okay, you guys, this is this is the humiliating story. So I think I posted during Vlogmas that I was missing a bag that I couldn't find. I was like, I can't find my purple bag. And I know I have a purple one. And it was in this box, squashing the other one. Let me see if I can. I think I told the story about how at some point I was so obsessed with Hamilton's Michael Kors Hamilton's that I had like a rainbow of colors. I'm down to just a few now, but I could, I could not find this bag. I was like, where, how do I not know where this bag is? I haven't seen it in five years because it was stuffed in this box with this other one. And so this is the only one I have left in this type of leather, the Safiana leather. All of my other ones are, and I think it's the only one with silver hardware too. Um, all my other ones are the pebbled here. I'll go over here. This. So I have this gold one with the, the pebbled leather. Um, so I have this one. I have a white one with gold. No, I have a black, I have a black one with silver as well. That's pebbled, which I think is right here. There's just a mess everywhere. Anyway, so <laughs> Now that I know, I still have that one. And then I have this other style of traveler, uh, Michael, I'm sorry, Hamilton that's a traveler with a smooth leather. And then I have this from his collection that I don't think I've carried since 2016. I think this one was called the Joan bag, named after his mother. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it was called. So that's kind of tempting. So now we just got to decide which one we're going to do. Okay, remember that we were in Mini Lynn for two weeks. Two weeks carrying one bag. And I enjoyed every minute of it, let's just be honest. I don't regret it one, one bit, but it's time to move on. And we are going to take out all of the items. I just left the other keys in the other room, I just realized. So I will leave those there. I'm going to leave the organizer in that I bought for this. I'm going to put in this that went with it to keep it in shape and we are going to put her away. So do you want to know what I decided on for the bag? The bag of the week. I still have the tag. <laughs> so that's 
the original price that I paid. This was in 2009, I believe. Pretty sure, 2009. It was a while ago. I'd be wrong. I'll check my, my Instagram feed. But I will bring her out because I love her so much. But I will show you all of her flaws. So here is Miss Vanilla Pebbled Leather. And she's she's seen better days. I was not careful. She's got corner wear. Um, yeah, corner wear. The handles are completely worn. I think I'm gonna tie some twillies around there. But because, oh, look at even the hardware has gotten damaged. Oh, poor baby. That's okay. Well, we're gonna show her some love this week and wear. Um, no, we still have all our tissue from back in the day. Yeah. She has seen better days. Tons of storage in there though. Slip pockets on both sides. Slipper pocket. I mean, I used to carry this to work a lot. Um, and then I had a little key fobby thingy in there. Let me get in there a little bit better, but I just really like this bag. All right, let me get all this stuff out of the way so we can load her up. I just like the off-white creaminess. I am so upset about that. Is that just a film? What is going on there? Yeah, it is. Some strange film. Okay, well, I'll work on that. All right. week room for days in there and I can even fit my computer in there believe it or not for work so I think that's it once I decide what twilly I'm gonna wrap around here to make it look a little less damaged I will insert a pick but um for right now I gotta get to this appointment and I will be back. Okay, we're back. And I had to change my shirt because I can't have nice things, <laughs> which means I can't wear white. I stain everything. So anywho, back from my appointment. I feel like a new woman again. They have they have fixed my my eyebrows. Next on the list is the possible haircut situation and deciding if I'm going to keep my gray locks or not um yeah i have to figure it out got my coffee on my way back and oh yeah i did the nails so i have just one coat of that on see how if any thing improves over the course of the week um buffed out the hardware on the michael kors bag so it was just some weird film that had um somehow Made its way onto the back so anywho um yeah we'll see how carrying that blast from the past goes this week and i these might be eating my words but i threw all my stuff in there and i had so much room and it might be too too big of a bag i i don't know it's too big of a bag for every day. It's just right for work there. It's, it's a work bag and it was a bag I used to take to work all the time. So do I have to go in the office this week? I cannot remember. 
I swear to God, it just throws me off all the time. I don't think so. I don't think I have to go to the work, work this week. But just for the heck of it, I might just grab my computer and try throwing it in there to see um, if this computer still fits because it is it is larger than my previous um, agency's computer. So it may not no longer be the appropriate work bag. Um, yeah. So anyway, hope your week has gone well. Um, hope your next week goes well, better if it hasn't, if it is going great, fabulous, happy start of summer, unofficially, officially in my words, <laughs> in my world, I feel like it's the start of summer and I hope that we have a good season ahead of us. So, um, oh, the last thing I want to ask you guys is about the time at this vlog goes live. I try to do it by like early afternoon, my time, Pacific time, which is what, six or so on Saturday. But does it matter? I mean, I, I like to time it for Saturday, but it, I want to know from y'all if you don't, if you're not watching them on Saturdays, which I know. And I'll, thank you for the few of you who watch it all the time. Daniel, Anna, <laughs> You know, Dee Dee, all the folks who turn, tune in every week. Thank you, thank you for all of your support. Um, but those who want to watch or do watch, um, does it matter what time it goes live? Is it, is it just something you watch on the weekend or when you have time? Or do you count on it being live by a certain time? Because I do rush to get this done as soon as possible. And I could be a little bit more refined if I took a little bit more time. So if you don't care about what time it goes up, then um, maybe it would, they would be shorter. I, whatever. Just give me some, <laughs> give me some feedback down below. Loved having you. Love chatting with you. Love having you as part of my life. And I will see you next week. Bye.